Hi, Days fans. It's Wednesday, September 1st. We just got finished watching Days just minutes ago after mm -hmm. a pretty full day. And normally it's, what, 11 o'clock at night. We would go to sleep and do the show in the morning. But so much happened and we got a lot to talk about. Yes. So let's just jump right in. EJ looking crazy. And then... With the second that gun tilted that way, everything changed. And what do you have to say about that? I have to say that this is not going to be a light, fuzzy little recap like we normally do. Because I, I have some seriously strong thoughts about this. I, as you guys know, read The Days of Our Lives biography, autobiography by Ken Corday back in um, June. And a lot of this autobiography, I felt kind of read along the lines of Forrest Gump, where some of these stories were just... They were larger than life, like when he was the drummer of the Rolling Stones. And I mean, <clears throat> he didn't say that, but I mean, like, the opening band for things like the Rolling Stones. I mean, just like really, really crazy things that could possibly have happened. I'm not calling Ken Cordy a liar by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just saying that the whole book was really... Far, not far-fetched, but like you said, bigger than life. But taking that aside, he said in his book, and I will quote. And we need to be sensitive because this is an important topic, but he's a little bit of a hypocrite, so go ahead. Well, I, I don't want to call him a hypocrite, but let me preface it by saying we have some people who write for Days Talk that are serious contributors that write posts on a regular basis. And recently one of our writers, Sarah, came to me with a post about EJ's suicide attempt, and I didn't even read it. I shut her down and said, no, 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 Ken Corday says they'll never touch that. And I, I was probably a bit rude, you know, like, no way, no way. And then when I'm seeing where this is going, I'm like, huh? And, and he said, because Ken Corday's brother sadly did commit suicide, and he said he would never, ever touch upon that, which seemed... You know, they have done something similar on days. They had the Tony pretended to commit suicide so that John Black would go on death row. But still, if you really were in anti-suicide, you don't even think no. you'd go there. The, the point is somebody kills them, takes their own life because of they're depressed. Right, but okay, so... And so that's not what Tony did. Let me try... I, I'm not sure the... And that, that Tony... Um, Thing happened after what happened. Ken Cordy's brother, this happened in 1990. But he says in the book, I quote, To this day, during my tenure as executive producer, we have never told or even dealt with a story about suicide on Days of Our Lives. So even dealt with a story at all, is what he's saying. So that's already not really true with what happened with Tony back in, that must have been like, I don't know. Yeah, but I 90s. distinguish that as differently. That's, that's, um, subterfuge. And, and we are not taking away from this family's loss in any way. What I'm saying is, he's saying, you know, this is a loss that never goes away, it's too difficult and too personal, but yet, in all these interviews over the summer, everybody keeps saying, watch for Labor Day, and Ken Gordy, watch what happens Labor Day, and then for, for this to happen, it makes me feel like, what? Yeah, it what? doesn't make any sense. Even if he know. doesn't, I mean, obviously he's not going to commit suicide. No, that's but not the. But the fact the that second, they touched upon that—that that is an—that is like su the suicide symbol. It, it crossed his mind. I'm just, I'm disappointed. I felt, I felt like it didn't, didn't go along with what I read. He had thoughts book. of killing himself, and that's really all that counts mm -hmm. in this. So he's not following this rule. But anyway, and this was just written. I mean, we, I this. this was a very, very recent book. I mean, I would tell things that JB, to JB about what was in this book, and he's like, oh, what was written a long time ago. I'm like, no, no, they've got, I mean, I got They're the, talking about very recent yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, I'm talking through, I don't, I don't even know much about publication of books, but it doesn't even seem possible, because it seems like that there's stuff in this book through the spring of this year, and mm. then the book came out in June, so I'm not quite sure how that went. So happen. in the preview, or at the very end of the show, it's like Sammy's got the gun, <laughs> and you hear the gunfire, but you don't know if it's a gunfire. It could just be the, you know, the final timpani. And then you see... And then you see EJ 
and you see a bloody head, and I'm like, oh my god, Sammy shot EJ, and then you, like, you told me it's, in I, your wisdom no, of self. I, I just made a hypothesis that perhaps... He had already shot himself, and he turned his head. And then you... Oh, who do we have a text from? This is oh, no, Terry. Space. Or no, no, it's Dad. not. Oh. Dad Callahan accepted my friend request. Oh, my Dr. Gosh. Baker. Look at it here. Let's hold it up for camera. This is awesome. Yay. Let's, let's see. John... Um, That's great. While we're taping the show, John Callahan. <laughs> I don't know. God, what you can I see that. I was going to say that's just Terry. <laughs> not just Terry. I love Terry, but... Um, Oh, that's cool. Okay, on a more upbeat note. Bing, bing, bing. Oh my god! James Scott, just so, <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, you heard it first here. Nicole and Daniel are going to end up having sex. Okay? There's a few key things that happen. <laughs> a, there's no real logical reason to me that she's living there. B, this. I told JB, if in any way there's physical contact on that bench when she's all freaking out about... They're drinking together, too. Yeah, but that hadn't happened yet. I, I'm like, if, if no, he... No, they were drinking together. It hadn't happened yet when I told you. Oh, oh. I said, if he touches her in any way, hugs anything, they're going to have sex. Did he touch her? Yes, he's oh. like, she leaned into him, and he's like, and he held her hand with oh. one hand and patted her with the other. And then I said, as soon as anybody ever says, I'm a soap opera, Oh, you're one of the nice guys. Chloe is so lucky to have you. That is code for, I'm going to steal you from my friend and screw the socks off of you. And she's got the, 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 she can go atomic on them. Oh, oh yeah. Chloe cheated on you. At any waking moment, yeah. if Chloe feels the urge to be with Daniel, she can, or not Chloe, Nicole feels the urge to be with Daniel, she can be like, this is the woman who gave Chloe a flesh-eating bacteria. I know. I just don't think I'm that forgiving. I don't know if, I, if anybody had done that to me. <laughs> Crikey, I don't know. But, yeah, that's for sure. And then, um, oh, and I want to say really quickly, thank you guys that defended me the other day. I am very self-conscious of my teeth, as you know, because I got braces. But you guys were all so sweet. And I told my friend Terry, the one I thought was just texting, that it was almost worth that nasty insult to have all the love from the rest of you guys. From Cher? Yeah, Cher. <laughs> Cher does not love Cher Amy. Cher is probably hanging Cher, from a rope Cher, right now. Cher hates Amy, but that's okay. <laughs> and you were so sweet. You're like, oh, they hate us. I'm like, no, honey, it was about me. <laughs> she hates me. Oh, well, you can't please everybody all the time. So, the power couple, or super couple, what do we call them? Super couple? Mm -hmm. Stefano and Kate, they're on the rocks. <gasps> Kate, no, 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 no. When he Oh, when, but when he said, I love you. You know, I'm not doing this because you're making me, I love you. Huh. I said, ah, I said, ah, for yeah. so long and so loudly that JB thought the children woke up. I'm like, oh. Yeah. It but was so cute. Kate, I Kate's a traitor. She called Sammy and... Told no, him. that's awesome. I love it when Sammy and Kate bond. I mean, that's like, you know <laughs> that like Jupiter and Saturn are some kind of like crazy crap when that's going on. Everything's out of alignment. What's that new way they call Uranus? Oh, God. <laughs> Again, my friend she told me the school system is now pronouncing it Uranus. So there's no anus in there. That is so effing stupid. <laughs> my God. Yeah, I don't. I don't even want to touch upon that. I don't want to touch upon your anus. <laughs> <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Sorry, I had to. I, that is. I have to restrain so much not to make a joke after you said that. But anyway, I will move on. There are just a million things floating through my head right now that I could have said. I could have embarrassed you right back, but I'm holding back. I'm going to call John Callahan right now. Now that he's our friend. <laughs> All right. You do that, honey. Okay. Anywho. Mm. Um, what about the rest of the show? Anything good? Uh, William is going to find out. Oh, yeah. What the like, hell is Stefano thinking? That's Sammy what I knows. I, okay, this is what I did not understand. I did not realize that Stefano didn't know there was a CD. So I'm like, why is he lying? This is going to come out in about oh, two and a half seconds. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But EJ neglected to tell him that. 
Man, he looked like shit, didn't he? He's just like, yeah. the eyes are all... He's a great actor. Like, did they really let him go on a bender or what? I mean... <laughs> yeah, how does he do that? How does he oh, make oh, himself oh. look like crap? If he is able... Assuming he didn't get shot and everything. If they had him get up the next day and go kidnap these kids, I, as a person who's had a hangover in my life, would have been personally offended. Because <laughs> that man should be, like, practically hospitalized tomorrow. But it's good scotch, so it doesn't give you as much of a hangover. It, Not when you drink every last drop yeah, of it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. God, there's a limit. But of course, you know, EJ probably weighs 198 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> you say that. We've met him in person. He is humongous and he's built. What are you talking about? He just looks so thin in those. Shoes. You know who's committing suicide, right, Don? The <laughs> e Jammy fans. My God. Yeah. Somebody said something on Twitter that I'm not going to say here, but it's something to the effect of, "What better way for a woman to say f off and die than to shoot you in the head?" Yeah. I mean, I'm going to start putting Prozac ads on the <laughs> side of the site for e Jammy fans and a big arrow going down, or that what's that stuff they advertise on days? Abilify? If Prozac isn't strong enough, take Abilify. Because, you know, it really kicks into <laughs> Prozac. When Maybe EJ needs Prozac God, Abilify. And Abilify. <laughs> Ask right. your doctor about Abilify. We better stop. We are going too far. Now we've offended 99.9% .9 of the people that are watching this. Okay, what else? Um, Caroline, uh, Rafe, and Sammy, they're just chummy chummy. I like when it reaches up to feel her hand and it's not there. Like, what, do they spoon all night? Please. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I've got nothing else for tonight. But Very... tomorrow is supposed to be a big day. Tomorrow's my mother and father's anniversary. Oh, really? How many years? Forty-something. Well, let's see. Let me do the math. I will be 36 this year. How old is Jody? Shut up. That means my brother will be 42. So 43 years. 43 years, that's good, honey. That is. I don't know if we'll make it that long. <laughs> what, are you saying I won't live that long, or what? Not ever. Our seventh is coming up real soon. Yes, yeah, so we'll have seven soon. Yeah. All right. The couple that watches Days Together. Stays Together. 